Hi guys, Steve is out here, more than just a pen. Today's video, we are going to be drawing Lionel Messi, aka the greatest of all time. With my previous drawings, the Cristiano Ronaldo one, Travis Scott, all these drawings, I'm really starting to bring my like design side out, uh, where I'm like messing around with the backgrounds, adding typography, which is what I love doing the most, creating my own type. And yeah, I've just really been having fun with it. And the previous years, I've really like hidden away from it or shied away from it and um, bringing out my design side um, why I, I don't know I just have I've just been drawing pictures and leaving it as that leaving the black background white or just not doing nothing with the background um, simply because I don't want to ruin the drawing and now I'm a bit more fearless you know a bit more fearless I'm joking um, I don't know ways I just feel like now it's time for me to actually Try and combine the two, you know what I mean? I went to uni for three years. I don't want to feel like it's just a waste, which is not because my work ethic has changed completely since I finished uni or, yeah, since I went to uni. So um, that, was, that was probably the biggest thing I learned from uni, work ethic, how much I can actually do. Um, but yeah, my design side, I'm starting to really bring it out in my work and I'm happy about it. And I'm sure you guys are happy about it. You guys have been messaging me saying, oh, well, we love the way you did the Christian Ronaldo background. How did you do it? And yeah, things like that. So I'm going to keep going with it and seeing what I can come up with. But today we're joining Mr. Lionel Messi, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And we're going to have fun with it, man. We're going to have fun with it. Let's go. Let's go do this. So to start off with, we're going to be using that black soft big big pen that I use all the time that I'm loving right now. It is definitely my favorite black bullpen pen to use simply because the ink flow and just the comfort of the pen is great. I just love it. But yeah, we're drawing messy today and I'm going to be using obviously the black pen and I'm going to be drawing the whole image in black and white. Um, this is something that I love doing and I've, been, I've got a couple of questions about it saying why do you draw images in black and white and then you add like, colour to like the, the football kit or something like that. Um, that's just a style of mine, um, we all have our different styles and that's something I like to do. I like to draw the person in black and white and then the things around it making colour so that way that person pops a bit more and that's kind of the idea I had with this drawing, make Messi black and white and then the background and everything in colour so Messi can stand out. You know what I mean? At the beginning, I was a bit like, uh, I don't know if this was the right decision, but I did it anyways. And yeah, here I started with the left eye. Don't ask me why. I'm just a weird person like that. I always start with one of the eyes because I believe the eyes are the root to the soul. You know? And you, if you mess up the eyes when it comes to a drawing, um, you mess up the whole drawing. And with me, I work weird. I normally draw one of the eyes, go down, do the nose, and then come back and complete the second eye which is a bit weird i'm guessing a couple of you probably think that's weird as well that i do that and i don't draw both eyes first and then do the nose but again we all have our different ways of working and that's the way i like to work um here with like the skin tone and everything because there was a lot of light areas meaning my pressure had to be really really like on point in or else i would have ruined the drawing um one of the tricks that i like to do is hold my pen higher up so that way I've got like more of a loose control and I don't apply that much ink to the drawing um, that's something I would re recommend you guys try out uh, but yeah I did a lot of cross hatching a lot of cross hatching overlapping lines but with the pressure being the same it gives off that little bit of a darker tone by you overlapping the lines the hair is just a construction of uh, a couple of flicks that's what we was just doing for the beard as well we're just doing a lot of lines but flicking and applying a little bit more layers in certain areas to give off that darkness and thickness in the beard we did a lot of lines there and we left a lot of areas like white in order to get like the skin coming through the beard and stuff like that um, that's something I do quite a bit I use the paper to my advantage and leave certain white areas to give off that illusion of like lighting and highlights and stuff like that which I love to do but as you can see I'm just flicking 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 and um, with my videos now they're a bit longer than they used to be simply because a lot of people were recommended for me to show like real-time footage so I've decided to do a bit of both so time-lapse and some parts that are like real-time for you guys to see exactly how I do work 
and yeah a lot of it is very slow but that's what it takes when it comes to ballpoint pen you have to be very patient with a lot of the stuff the lines and yeah yeah just have to build it up nice and slowly and having the sketch and everything as you can see in the background it looks a bit messy <laughs> that's that's <laughs> even though we're drawing messy but the background looks a bit messy um that's because i that's how i work you know i just have to sketch out everything think about where i want things to go and as i go along i can make little adjustments on where i want things to be and stuff like that so having a nice balanced sketch in the background or just a balanced sketch in general is great in order to know placements of things you know just have no where things are if i just did this freehand straight away without no sketch no nothing um i probably would have made a ton of mistakes and i would have regretted quite a few things i would have been like ah i didn't want that to be there whereas when you sketch you're ready you just know where things are gonna be and you can make little adjustments along the way but as you guys know as well i always like to work in sections so that if i'm working on a nose i'm gonna work on a nose however once i'm done with it i start working on other places i tend to come back to it and add a little bit more detail that's because obviously looking at my reference photo there's always something that i might have missed or yes yeah, i might have missed something and i after looking at the reference photo for so many hours um i finally see something that i forgot and then i'll apply it again to my drawing in because i missed it and that's normal the eye can't pick up everything when you're drawing you're too focused on both things the drawing and the reference photo so you do tend to miss certain things but again that's why it's always good to go back analyze your drawing and add these little details that you feel like you missed hair lot of cross hatching but again keeping my lines consistent and i'll hear some going a bit fast here again because i've been doing this for a long time but you guys are ready to take it slow um, but have a little bit of pace in your your flow so that way you have a nice flow and a nice rhythm that you can follow because sometimes when you go too slow it's very difficult to remember the, the each the consistency of the stroke you know uh, you can lose that that balance and then some parts will be darker some parts will be lighter so you have to have a little bit of a speed to your lines in order to keep it that nice consistent stroke that your brain can remember um, now we're moving on to the head is the final stage of actually drawing messy and yeah I always draw the darkest parts when it comes to the hair and then I fill it out with lines and everything to complete the hair um, just as the way I work and it works it works it works for me I like it um, yeah maybe I'll change it along the way but again why would you change something that works for you so yeah it works for me I like it and there we have it messy now we're gonna go and move on to the background this is the part i actually enjoyed the most when doing this drawing the background simply because the colors and everything and um, the yellow yucky yucky stuff that you're seeing there that is masking fluid that i have that is just great i love it i love it now um actually i saw kirsty partridge use this a couple of years back in her painting i was like what is that magic that she's doing <clears throat> and right now your boy musa demus is in love with it i use it all the time i've been using it in all my previous drawings that you guys have seen with the backgrounds um and yeah you can peel it off after and it will leave a nice white glow and just leave the paper it's just it's just great stuff as you can see here there's the final outcome and i added a little fine line onto the type and everything but yeah this was great and all the tools and everything that i used linked in the description thank you guys for watching i'm out yo so that's what i call having fun that came out way better than i had pictured in my head i was seeing i was like, okay i want missy here i want the typography to go here no maybe i want the flag and everything to go here i was just really messing around with things um i was thinking about actually putting the number 10 like i did with the cristiano ronaldo but then i was like nope i don't want to put a number 10 because everyone knows messi is the number 10 you know we just know that he's that guy um, I want his name to be in that background because everyone's always celebrating saying Messi, Messi so it kind of made more sense to me and yeah last time I did a number this time I want to do type pop, type pop, type, type, you know um, came out great uh, I went back and forth with a couple of things um, especially with the whole type I was thinking about just leaving it white without adding like a black line around the letters um, to make it pop a bit more and that was a great idea that my actually girlfriend suggested to me. She was like, why don't you just add black around the type? And I was like, mmm, 
ended up doing it, it came out better and the background i did like a argentina flag you know it has blue white blue um i left the white part white and after sitting there i think i left the joint for like 25 minutes sitting there sitting there sitting there thinking i was like you know what the type is already white which can represent the white in the middle let me just make the whole background blue and that's what i ended up doing and that was a great decision on my behalf and yeah that's the thing with drawing designing there's a lot of back and forth a lot of thinking and you the designer you need to make the decision at the end and hopefully it turns out for the best we make mistakes we all make mistakes but it's part of the process you just gotta embrace it and go for it and again this art man we're supposed to have fun with this we're supposed to have fun with the art don't take it too seriously and yeah there's always the next drawing so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video all the tools and everything i used for this drawing are linked in the description um so yeah go get yourself some brush pens, some bullpen pens, all that stuff. And yeah, for full time length of videos, you can go on my Patreon, um, they're all on there. Um, more tutorials are coming along. And yeah, if you wanna join the gang gang on Patreon, make sure to click the link in the description as well. But yeah, that's it for me today. Enough talking, I'm out. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe, as always. Peace.